as you can see this is <laughs> this is not going anywhere anytime soon the vision is pretty pretty strong yeah once I start using the the ABS juice and never had any more problems with ABS warping or anything like <laughs> problem now is not getting the ABS to stick the bed, the problem now is getting it off. <laughs> Usually I have to use a razor blade to just scrape it all off, otherwise I can't, I can't get it off. But I think it's better to uh, have to go through this process every time than having the, you know, the ABS lifting off the bed or warping or anything and then I have to start to print all over again. Like I can print non non-stop. Basically this just finished printing and I'm gonna wipe the glass, get the part get the part out, just scrape this off the glass. I wash it with a little bit of a uh, you know dishwashing liquid in here with my hands and uh, I put a new a new very thin coat of ABH, ABS juice again. Get this on the get the get the glass base on the on the printer. Get it to warm up and start another print. That's it, non-stop. The bed is clean, it's ready for a new coat of uh, ABS juice. Here it is, hopefully you can see. See in the light, yeah. Let me open this for you. Make sure you use a mask when dealing with acetone. You can see in there. So before applying this, let me just say, let me just show you. If you don't already know how to make uh, ABS juice, uh, so all you need is acetone, right? 
you can pour and obviously a glass jar with a lid. Um, so the way you do this one, I actually this is just acetone. I use it to clean my brush after uh, applying the, the the ABS juice in there. So all you need to make uh, this ABS juice is acetone, a glass jar with a lid, preferably, and just uh, ABS uh, waste. You don't have to use filament. Just use the waste from your prints, like the supports and you know the brims and whatever is left from your print that you don't need. I have a bag full of this in there. So the way you do it, just just you know cut it or crush it in into small pieces. This is actually fine, like this, because it will dissolve very fast. That's the reason why you want to you know cut this in small pieces. So you want to put this in the acetone just pour um, 50 ml of acetone 50 five zeros and then add if you want to make abs juice just add about uh, 15 20 grams of abs in there that will dissolve pretty fast you just just you know keep agitating it and the consistency, um, the viscosity or whatever you want to achieve is uh, thicker than water, uh, but not thicker than milk. So yeah, that's what you want. So the simple way to go about this is you start with your 50 ml of uh, Acetone here, and you start adding ABS. The more you add, the more ABS you add, the thicker it will be. So you just control it from there. You, you know, for over time, you know, you know exactly, uh, you know exactly the the quantities you you need to use to achieve your your preferred you know viscosity of the ABS. But if you don't know, like me, on the first time, just Keep adding a little bit of ABS at the time, let it dissolve, and then check the, the check the viscosity of it. And when you're happy with it, just you know, just stop adding ABS and leave it like that. Like I did this batch of you know these 50 ml of uh, ABS juice like a week ago, <laughs> and I still I still have enough. It's 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 about in here. So he has a little bit, but it's enough for about for more like <laughs> five or six prints, if not more. So let's go apply the ABS juice to our uh, to our base. So let me let me just point this out to you uh, before I start I start applying the the thin layer of ABS juice here. I from my personal experience, I think it's better if you apply it cold. I usually, you know, this whole process for me until I start the other, the, the next sprint takes me about 10-15 minutes. That's it. So as soon as I, uh, as, as, as soon as I, after I wash this to decrease it, and you know, I just use water and, and dish soap. I I dry the I dry the glass base and I apply it uh, straight after that. Uh, I apply it while cold, and then I and then you can just put it straight on the uh, on your 3D printer and get the, the bed to start warming up, and it's fine because that leaves a very a very smooth finish. You will see. Uh, I, I'm just saying this because I noticed another video. Some people like to apply this uh, while the bed is eating eating up, uh, but that. It just looks like I, I tried that, but it's it's just like frying the acetone and or, or the ABS juice in there. It, it leaves a pretty rough finish in in, in, the, in your base, in the base of your print. But if you apply it cold and uh, and get it in your in, in your in your three D printer and you, and you start warming up the bed, well, for me at least in my in my from my experience, nothing changes. It just leaves that very smooth finish. 
that you'll be able to see now. So that's what I do. Just dip, dip the brush in here like this. Uh, thing is, I because I'm printing the same thing over and over again. I have a few print. I have a few prints to do from the same object. Uh, I know exactly what it will print, so I don't need to waste uh, ABS juice in here. Uh, if you're gonna do a large print, obviously just coat the the whole, you know, the whole top. But for me, I know exactly what it will print, so I'm just gonna apply this ABS juice in there. Let's go. Yeah, see? This is a very, very thin layer because the ABS juice itself uh, the way I make it is not is not very thick. That's it, yeah. Just spread it evenly. Uh, what do you what do you what do you think is gonna be? This is enough for me. So also when you do this make sure make sure you wear a you wear a mask because you know, acetone fumes are pretty nasty. So, as soon as I finish, I have another container with acetone, with just acetone, but I use it to, you know, just to clean the brush. Otherwise, it's gonna, it's, it's, if you don't do this now, your brush is gonna become pretty stiff. You know, the bristles is gonna become hard and you, Probably gonna have to be replacing your brush all the time. But if you just clean it after after you use it like this, that's enough. And dry it. Yeah, that's alright. It's good to be used next time. Your bristles won't become stiff. Hard. And as you can see, it's a very, it's a pretty smooth surface. And this is all you need. It is not thick at all. So now this can go straight back to the printer, and I will get the bed to warm up. Uh, so I can start the next print. That's about it. Also, guys, very important. Uh, make sure you dry your filament. I don't have anything fancy to do with. I don't have any food dehydrators or, or special, you know, boxes or anything. I dry my film, my filament in the in the oven. In this case, ABS. I dry it at 75 degrees uh, between four to eight hours should be enough and when you're not using it make sure you store it in a vacuum one of those vacuum sealed uh, bags this is, comes very handy you can use your uh, your uh, your vacuum cleaner to put the vacuum into the bags like this okay. so yeah it's sealed cap on is sealed. I still keep one of those uh, desiccants in here and, just, and then start it in a box. Yeah, I've also, I've just recently, a couple days ago, I built this um, this cover, this enclosure, enclosure for my for my 3D printer because as you probably know, ABS likes to uh, Likes, likes to have a stable, uh, basically, room temperature above 30, 35 degrees, I believe. And uh, this, it, this keeps the print warm, uh, actually very warm inside, because obviously the, obviously your heating bed is on all the time, but usually at a high temperature while you're printing ABS. 
and that temperature just stays in here uh, and I'm honestly I'm having re really good results printing AVS in here um, <laughs> this is my camera I use this as a CCTV when uh, <laughs> when I'm out of the house so I can check on the prints um, yeah let's, let's let's just put our Bad in here, yeah, stick it in there. Make sure it's so nice in here. Yeah. Put your your clips so or whatever you use back on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I had to use both hands to do it. Uh, so just start your printer, turn it on, and and now you can just warm up your bed. So, uh, just need to play the waiting game, but in a few minutes you will will be able to start. We'll be able to start our print. Yeah, I forgot to record this, but uh, yeah, don't forget to level your bed uh, before you start your print, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so the bed now has been created. I'm gonna start the print. It's just finishing warming up the bed in here, as you can see. Once it reaches the temperature on the top, it's gonna start warming up the nozzle, and then it will start uh, the print. As I mentioned before, if you if you put uh, the ABS shoes while the bed is still is still cold. Um, See, there's no bubbling, nothing. Your 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 build plate uh, is still is still smooth, while while you have you know a good adhesion. Um, and what happens if you put if you put the ABS shoes in here while well, this is this thing is hot, it, it will start bubbling straight away. You know, it won't it, it, you won't, you won't get a, like a smooth finish in the end. Uh, yeah, as you can see, so the same as in the beginning. Yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any more content in the future. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.